All right, everybody, it is still Friday, March, what is the date? 8th, my goodness, 2008th, 8th, uh, 2019, <laughs> let's, um, let's, let's put this together, just beautiful, beautiful stuff going on here, uh, across the board. The closing bell went off like 30 seconds ago. The stock market across the board ended essentially flat for the day, despite uh, being down pretty substantially earlier today. Dow Jones Industrial Average was down about 220 at one point. We finished essentially flat. Um, and again, let's talk about what's going on here. We got pro possibly the worst round of bad economic news that we have seen in a while. Again, we have not had one single round of good economic news for months. Months! That's the truth. Uh, today's jobs number was nothing short of abysmal. And you know, uh, the coke addict, I mean, the, the nice guy, uh, Larry Kudlow, he actually is a coke addict, or was recovering, I'm not sure how he puts it, you know, he admits it, I'll give him that. Um, but the guy does seem like he did some damage to his brain cells. Uh, as, I, as I covered earlier today, he did everything he could to try to uh, make it seem like it wasn't so bad. As a matter of fact, he said you should ignore it. Um, but what he won't say is you should also be ignoring every single other round of bad economic, bad economic news that we have had thrown at us. It's, a, it's an unbelievable thing. He also doesn't want you to understand Again, debts and deficits are exploding uh, like we have never seen. Like we have never seen. This is the truth. I'm not making this up. I'm not pulling it out of a hat. This is where we are. Um, but it, it's, it's just too much. Now, let's talk about something else that Larry did that was funny today. He, he is a Maybe he means to be funny. But he said at one point, talking about China trade, that we, the United States, have China over a barrel. We have them over a barrel. Um, shortly after, almost before the market closed, uh, China took it off their schedule that they're going to meet to talk in Mar-a-Lago. I think Larry there should have kept his mouth shut. Because if we really had China over a barrel, uh, you wouldn't have heard President Obama, whoa, President Trump today, speak because you know they're all on the same page. Obama, Trump, it doesn't matter. They may look different to a certain degree, but you know it's, it's the same boss. It's the same spewing of lies and propaganda. It doesn't matter. That's how it is. But um, seriously, you know, President Trump today talking about no, I will not sign a deal with China unless it's a great one for the United States. You remember, remember the whole deal with the Pelosi bill that he signed? I'm not signing it. I will not sign it unless it's good. Well, we all know how that played out. I mean, you want to talk about an abysmal loss that you can't even freaking believe? Well, that's what's going to happen too here. Look, the bad economic news like we got today means one thing. The Federal Reserve will keep printing like you cannot believe. They will keep rates suppressed, possibly going negative. So all the bad economic news, although it's devastating for the middle class, for America, is bullish. It really is bullish um, for the stock market. I know how twisted that sounds, but it's true. That's where we are. That's why I sit here and, you know, people yell at me, Greg, why are you going to talk about politics, blah, blah, because that's what's driving the markets. <laughs> really, that's it. It's not fundamentals. It's not technicals. It's all about politics right now. <laughs> it's true. People don't want to hear it. You know, um, let's try to keep this humorous for a moment here. Can we do that? I know. Let, let me just say this. If you take offense to what I'm about to say, because this is just a goof, you really need to reflect upon yourself just a little bit. I posted earlier that I, I, I want to write a movie script. I, I want to actually start thinking about, you know, maybe get, getting into movie production and maybe I'll write, write something. So here was the theme. 
Tell me what you think. Try to stay calm here. The whole the whole movie script to a movie is is based around a coke addict and another person who uh has to have sex with porn stars that run a country. What do you think? Uh, I, I, I think it's a beautiful idea. I mean, there are movies based on a lot of other things that do really well. So why not a movie based on a coke addict and another individual that's addicted to porn stars that run a country? I think that would be a beautiful thing. I really do. It would probably make you know huge amounts of money. Now again, before some of you go berserk, Think about why you're going berserk. Did I say something that sounds familiar? Did I say something that might actually be true? No, 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 no. Can't possibly be true. Because it would be stranger than fiction. You can't make this shit up. It's impossible. But anyway, uh, let, let's see what kind of feedback I get. I'm going to love seeing this. <laughs> Again, if you get offended, maybe I'm touching on a little bit of truth here. But it's fiction. I am, you know, making this stuff up. You can't make it up, could you? Could it possibly be true? No, 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 no. no. Anyway, uh, I hope you got a little humor out of that. And just take it easy, people. Honestly, forget this, 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 this dog shit environment we are in. It's completely fake. You know that. I don't give a damn about which way the market goes. You all know that too. Um, and that's just the way it is. Anyway, so let's see. Let, let's let's recap here. We got Cudlow, the, the 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 recovering coke addict, or I think he's doing some harder stuff these days. Maybe fentanyl. I, I have no idea what it is. Uh, with his, uh, you know, ignore, ignore it. But if we're the great, if we were a good number, I would be telling you. If I were Larry Cudlow, <sighs> <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Uh, I would be saying that you really should be paying attention to this number. It just shows you how great everything is. But you no, no, no. You need to ignore it. And uh, I then China over a barrel. A barrel of what, Larry? A barrel of what, Larry? You know what that is. It's the brain cells. In his case, they're disappearing. Um, anyway, it's the truth here. And, and, and China now saying, oh, no, no, no. No meeting. We'll see how the market reacts to that. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It's it's all about the Federal Reserve, what they're going to do next. That's it. I really believe they're setting us up for negative interest rates uh, moving forward. More propping up. Did you see how this market reacted the last hour? Uh, we went, you know, a massive surge of buying. I closed all my positions earlier today uh, when the market was down substantially. I can't tell you the week I had. To this. I, I mean, seriously, great week. But... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to outline this for you. So I pulled out a nice amount, of, a good amount of cash. Okay, so I'm going to convert some of that cash into hard assets. And I'm going to take 10% of it, donate it to a charity, and I'm going to have some fun with the rest of it. That's the truth. All right, with that said, people, um, <laughs> I really do love you. Uh, and I mean it. So let's let's put this week behind us. Let's reevaluate come Monday. Let's listen for what kind of nonsense is going to come out of mouths of uh, coke addicts and sex fiends. I mean, um, uh, you know, people that are in government. And um, let's just watch it all. But seriously, love each other, care about each other, and be charitable. This guy sincerely loves you, and I mean that. And I'll see you on Monday. No, my goodness, I'll see you Sunday with my markets to look ahead. going to be a great week. I can promise you that.